window, the table, and the object. It is a classic conceit of painting. From, and I've brought some books here, and please look at them. Um, Bonari is a standout, I think you name it. It's contemporary, but this goes back. Uh, and it's used in various ways, and very different ways sometimes. I mean, here you have the same idea. We're, we enter through, you know, in this case it's not a table, it's a stove, but in and you're sort of in an interior, and then maybe you go out the window, or maybe the window is um, just a, a, a visual stop, yet an opener. Um, here is a, an extreme version uh, by Selden Guile uh, called Red Tablecloth. Here's the window, here's the table, here's the tablecloth, and the plant. Um, it's all the same idea. Enter, they go out. You can use the window. I, what I put down, because this is, I guess, one of my main points about um, painting about still life, um, is what is the use, what is the purpose of something? It has a visual thing, a window, a pair, a bottle, a, a figure, whatever. Whatever you're painting is, is a something that you can put a name to. But what is its purpose in your painting? And so I have put down things here using the window. And you don't have to use the window, by the way. If you frame up a little part of whatever's in front of you and you don't, the window does not add to your particular statement, fine, get, don't, don't use it. But what, I'm, what I use this for is, is um, it carries the, the window carries you beyond. It, you, it often you can have another scene, bones out here, sky, other things, gardens, dark night. Um, it suggests another outside world. It frames a painting, and I mean that in one one sense of framing the whole still life that you're doing. But it also frames <coughs> paintings. Um, the, the the window mm. divisions frame other little paintings. I mean, you, you can make another motif out of it. Um, and it provides rectilinear definition, which is something that you can have some fun <laughs> with as a something to bounce off of. Um, using the table orients it in an interior, and it provides an edge and another line of some sort that plays off of the window mullion's frame. Um, the objects. That's where they are characterizing the theme. Whatever it is, to make clear, I'm hitting you over the head with it today with breakfast. So this is a, the theme is there. The objects are all related. That's your theme, the, the, the figurative thing. And the objects usually introduce some kind of a, a shadow pattern, which um, you again take play off of. You can see how in some of these examples, and do look through these books, um, how you get into all of those things. And these are things to look for when you're doing your art history in the museum, when you're, when you're looking at other paintings. All of these, what is the purpose, is what I want. So I, I just suggest focusing, zooming in and out, maybe with, um, I saw that Hernan had a, you know, a little framer, many of you have that, or if you want to borrow a camera just to look, that should give you It'll give you your boundaries, and it may you may suddenly go from looking at it to saying, "Oh wow, that is all together," and I'm going to. Uh, that's my subject. So that's what I suggest you do to start. Um, do a little framing like that, and um, and when you think in these ways of what is the purpose, what is the function. Sometimes that makes you think and see these things very differently. Um, that is my theory.